fluffy you know how it is it's really nice hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i want to say big thank you to all my wonderful subscribers new and old please if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe just click that red button that says subscribe then you click that bell so that you get a new notification whenever i'm uploading a new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make condensed milk cake so let's get started here are my ingredients for making condensed milk cake. Here I got flour, melted butter, condensed milk, I got some eggs, salt, baking soda, baking powder, I got a lemon juice. In this condensed milk, I'm using sweetened condensed milk and I'm not using sugar in this recipe. I'm going to be leaving all the measurements of all these ingredients in my description box below. So let's get started. So first of all, we are going to sieve our dried ingredients. Make sure you sieve your flour. So now I'll be adding the baking soda, baking powder and the salt together. It's very important you sieve your flour and your other dried ingredients before adding it to your cake. So now we have done sieving our dried ingredients. We are going to set this aside. So I'm going to set this aside. So the next we are going to do is to grease our pan. So here is the butter which I'm using to grease the pan. You must make sure you grease your pan. To avoid your cake sticking when you're bringing it out from the from the tin. Make sure you grease it very well. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add the flour to it. See the one greasy the pan. to pour the excess so now we are finished greasing our pan let's go ahead to start mixing the rest ingredients so here is our mixing bowl and the next thing we are going to do is to start cracking our egg So now we are going to mix this. So now that we are finished mixing our egg, so the next thing I'm going to add is our condensed milk. Here's our condensed milk. So we are still going to stir this again. So 
Now I'm just going to add the lemon juice. This will help to preserve your cake for a very long time. And give you also give it that lovely taste. I don't have a vanilla flavor, so I just decided to swap this. The vanilla flavor. Vanilla flavor is optional. So finally, next I'm going to add final uh, liquid ingredients is the melted butter. I'm going to make this again. Just make sure they are fully incorporated. Now we have finished mixing our liquid ingredients, so now we have to start adding our dried ingredients. We have to add it bit by bit. To mix this very well. So at this very moment, don't over miss your butter. Just mix it gradually. So guys, finally, here is how our cake butter is looking. I see it. So we are finished mixing it. So now here is time for me to start transferring it to the to the pan. Here is our pan. Next, we are going to do is just heat it to take off the bubbles. So, the next one, I'm going to do the So, now I'm going to transfer this cake to the, to the oven. Make sure you preheat your oven before adding your cake to enable it to rise well. So, see you guys soon. Guys, here is our condensed meat cake. I just brought it out from the oven and here is how it's looking like. So now I'm going to add it to the tray. So now I'm going to show you how it is. So guys, here is our condensed milk cake. You see how nice and fluffy, you know, how it is. It's really nice. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and now I'm going to give have a taste from it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Mmm, tastes so yummy. Please, if you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye and God bless you.